That being said and done, it looks like the rest of the house has become available. Norma could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but was it July or August? Harry kept a journal. Maybe he recorded the date there. Looks like we're going to be nosing around the Osborne penthouse and see what we can find. Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms and a motto. Pax in Bellow. Peace in War. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. The, the, the Diaries of MJ. A spider sidekick memoir. Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. Well, I suppose not really sidekick. A partner, sorry. My apologies. This room smells like... rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Yeah, it's nice to know the whole town's going to pop, but Mo uh, Osborne is uh, stocked up on all his soda. And, uh, what is that called? Swilco! There we go. <laughs> the popular brand. Among the elite of New York. Norman locked up Harry's room. Wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? Man, if he wants that thing untouched, that is going to be dusty when he gets back. <laughs> I hope he's not allergic to uh, any like pollen or dust particles. He's going to come back and have quite literally have a fit when he walks through the front door. City's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero. Damn, maybe we should dust off that cape that Jameson's been wearing. Give it to Osborne. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um... The big trip. Um... Uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh... Anyway, listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad, you know, for doing this. I love you. Wow, haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Why does he sound like he's going away and not coming back? Like, the, the way he's saying it, it makes it sound so final. And the fact that he's going to Dr. Morgan Michaels as well for a shot, like, surely you can go to just... I mean, I know Osborne wants Osborne's to have the best, but you would have thought he could go to somebody else, any other doctor. Why go to someone as renowned as Dr. Morgan Michaels just for a flu shot? Look at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. A photo was removed, though. Wonder what was there. Just but another secret that we need to uncover. God, Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Oh, I suppose it's the whole the grass is greener on the other side scenario. <laughs> people always say money doesn't buy your happiness, but it's always <laughs> always been said by people who have money. Those who don't have money just want money. People who uh, have money but don't have love and happiness, all they want is whatever <laughs> all the poor people want. Finding that balance, that's where happiness truly lies. Look at that, Dr. Phil playing Spider-Man here. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. And just from an artistic point of view, I want to say, they've done a really good job in this game of de-aging and then re-aging Norman Osborn for like the different photos in their past and stuff. Just done a really good job. Like They they clearly made, obviously, the older Norman Osborn character model first, but then they've de-aged him in such a way. Normally when they de-age characters when they've created the older character first, it always looks a bit weird, like a bit off-putting, but they've done it really well in this. 
Harry's room. But it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. Oh man, look at us. We used to be so carefree. I miss those days. It's the same picture that uh, Peter Parker had in his apartment as well. Or I guess did before he got evicted at least. That's where we need to go. We just need to find the key first. Is that something down there I could look at? No, nope, no, nope, just a shiny piece on the wall. Happy birthday, dear. Sorry I'm a little late. It's been a busy month. I miss you, Em. Especially today. I put Harry... I've sent him away. For treatment. We'll fix him, Em. I promise. Development of GR-27 was too slow to save you. It won't fail Harry. I'm keeping his room. Exactly as it is, ready for when he gets back. The key is with you, Em. I know you keep it safe. Wait, Norman sent Harry away for treatment? I thought he went to Europe on his own. What were you hiding from us, Harry? That would explain why he went to Do Dr. Morgan Michaels before he went. They were developing, they said that GR27 couldn't save Emily, save his mother, but could, might be able to save Harry. I mean, as we found out when we went into Oscorp's, um, Os Os Osborne's lab, we found out it was originally supposed to be a cure, but the side effects are more devastating than they originally thought. Is that why he developed it in the first place? Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested? It's like a lot of pieces are beginning to fall into place right now. Harry's going away, he's seeing Dr. Morgan Michaels. The GR27 uh, might be able to save Harry. He's gone for treatment. It's genetic, his mum's case. A lot of things are starting to fall into place right about now. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Ah, oh, look at Otto Octavius. Speaking about the de-aging process, Norman Osborn might look good when he's been de-aged, but look at Otto. He did say he had a reckless youth after all. Look, that beard, that hair. Oh, you were just such a playboy back in the day, weren't you, Octavius? <laughs> but one thing we did learn from that message was he said that the key is with Emily, and I get the feeling this might be what he was talking about. Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. And speaking of the de-aging and stuff like that, I think they've also done a really great job of making Harry look like an amalgamation of Norman and Emily. Like, they've done a really good job. Quite often they create characters in the game and forget that they're supposed to keep the, uh, the traits of their parents. Bingo! Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. All right, but let's do a little bit last bit of sightseeing, and then we better make a move because uh, they are actually going to be back up here Norman's at some point. The bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. And this bath just seems like a death trap. So many sharp corners, so many slippery surfaces. I guess it feels like a death trap. I wouldn't want to sit in that bath, especially who has a bath in the center of the room. Just asking for trouble. Ugh, Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza. Not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. Rightio, but that's been said and done. We have the key to get in Harry's room. So let's go in and find out what we need to find out before Norman Osborne and the uh, the rest of his uh, cohort come back. I mean, this has already been painting a pr uh, picture that might be a uh, shocking news to MJ and Peter. Let's see what is uncovered inside his room. What? This can't be for Harry, can it?
law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney, like his mom. I suppose really I was just ski uh, just skating over the important point. We see all this hospital equipment. The first thing I do is go and read the uh, look at the law books. Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Yeah, kind of burying the lead a little bit there. But yeah, this looks at the hazardous waste, all the chemicals, this equipment. This looks like Harry was a lot sicker than he, uh, than some of these notes, some of these letters might have let on. And it explains why he left all those research stations to Peter as well. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. Let's give this a little bit of a read before we go and uh, get inside the, the secret room. So, July 18th, leaving for Europe today. <laughs> Not sure how this is going to go. Dad says there's no risk, but that's Dad. Dr. Michaels thinks it's more like 50-50. Oh, well, I suppose they're, they're <laughs> better. I've seen worse odds. So, okay, I might not make it. If that happens, I bet you'll be reading this, Dad. Who am I kidding? You're probably already reading it anyway. Norman always has to know. So if you are reading this, Dad, and if No Risk at All turns out to be another Osborne cam uh, campaign promise, then do me a favour. This is uh, show this next part to Pete and MJ. Just them. P please. Thanks, Dad. I love you. To Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If you're reading this, man, this is tough. Even... Uh, in an imagined hypothetical letter to you is hard to be honest. Here goes. I'm sick. Like really sick. Doctors think it's the same thing my mum had. Neurodegeneration. Rapid onset. I've known for a while but thought I could manage it. I didn't tell you because... Well, because I didn't tell you. I was worried how you'd react and I couldn't stand to see you go through what I did with my mum. Watching her suffer. Knowing I couldn't help. Watching her die was worse than the dying. Things got really bad recently. All those times I was wiped out from partying or just super busy. Not partying, not busy. Sick. This Europe trip, well, it's a cover. I'm going in for treatment. Experimental, long term. Dad's been working on it forever. Promises it'll work. He hates the nickname the techs have for it, Devil's Breath. Says it makes something good seem scary, but maybe Devil's Breath is what I need. A little bit of bad to do a lot of good. Okay, Dad's here. Time to go. We should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Okay, so we've got... One guy over by the TV. Sable's gone out to the balcony. We've got another guard who's gone to the left. Let's see if we can keep this guy distracted and looking away. While we make a move. Uh, I'm going to need you looking a little bit further away than that, buddy boy. Stand by control. I heard something. That's it. Keep moving. I don't want you turning around while I make a break for it. Yikes! Clear. Continuing patrol. Oh, no, you're not. The hell was that? That was you about to go nunites, buddy boy. Clear. Let's keep moving. Go, go, go! Got the code, we can get in there, but all we've got to do is get past all of Sable's men first. Patrolling sector, status clear. Two guys down the bottom, one over there. Huh? Who's there? That's it, keep distracted. You look over there, buddy.
Stay alert. I think we got company. Oh yeah, you do. Keep moving. Continuing sweep. That's it. Follow the rabbit down the hole. <laughs> Just keep moving. Move, move, move. I mean, ideally, I'd like to take all of these guys out. Not just distract them, especially if I'm going to be sneaking inside this room. I need to get this guy to turn around as he's going to see me as I try and make uh, my way across. Go! We've got one shot at this, gotta move. Okay. July 18. Bingo. Probably should have took those guys down first, but hey ho. <laughs> a win's a win. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. At least the door closed behind me. I was gonna say, if we just had the big open door, it would kind of be a telltale sign that we've got in here, but... Alright, by the numbers, let's see what Osborne's been hiding behind the these doors. Harry and Emily Osborne, so it looks like this is uh, where he's been constructing some of the uh, the research on Devil's Breath. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Yeah, these look like exactly like the uh, the, the pumpkin bombs we saw at the Grand Central Station, except for obviously they claim to be uh, for other uses when we saw them there. Yeah, we've already seen you've integrated these into your headset, Norman. Don't think we don't uh, <laughs> know what you've got planned. Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. Yeah, I'd be more concerned about that bang we heard when we uh when we activated that, when we touched that. Is something alive inside there? Watch your <laughs> you can watch your sixes all you like, I've already got past you. Norman Osborne, GR27 research log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, Spend the next 18 months on PR mop up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease, it's an attempt at a cure. I almost can't believe it. Well, we knew when we got into uh, Osborne's office that it was originally supposed to be like for noble causes. And it seems like, obviously, even though he's trying to do it to cure his son or to cure. And, uh, Obviously, would have liked to originally cure his, uh, his deceased wife as well, but I know he's doing it for noble reasons, and I mean, give Osborne credit where credit's due, but I'm sure he would have slapped a, uh, a price on that once, uh, once he had uh, developed it. I have a feeling Norman Osborne, he might do good things, but he always finds a way to turn them seedy. Spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages... Bioelectrokinesis, optical camouflage. What the hell is he trying to create? I don't know, but if he is trying to recreate uh, Spider-Man's powers, it's almost like he's trying to create the ultimate Spider-Man. Dun dun dun! My God! <laughs> foreshadowing, everyone. Foreshadowing. But okay, let's uh, let's check this map and let's see what we can find out. Wow, Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Yeah, well, can you really trust Norman Osborne just to have your bulk standard normal map? He's Osborne. If he's going to do something, he's going to do it uh, elaborate and over the top. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. <sighs> kind of makes sense, though. Michael's is the lead on Devil's Breath. Let's see who, let's see who uh, else he's tracking as well. Dr. Strom. Isn't he a robotics expert? No movement from Dr. Van Adder. Must be out of the city. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. 
Wherever the anti-serum is, he must have been too. So obviously we definitely want uh, Dr. Michaels, Oscorp Buildings. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. I had no idea they owned so much of New York. Commercial buildings. Wow. So many records facilities. Oscorp's going all in on defense research. Yeah, that's not really surprising. So let's check out the Sable patrol routes. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Alright, so basically we want to match Dr. Michaels with an Oscorp building with a Sable patrol. So let's see about Bravo. Bravo, Bravo, Bravo. No, no mixes with the defense. And this must be the C team. Nope, no links there either. Good old Alpha team. So it's not a defense building. No. Norman's not crazy enough to keep the anti serum in a shopping center. Well, eh, you'd be surprised. I mean, sometimes the best cover's hiding in plain sight. A records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath Lab. Alright, if you think so, let's check some record buildings with some of the Sable patrols. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big Sable presence. Ooh, what do we have here? GR27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR27, Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. <laughs> created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Yeah, that's an understatement. Man, Sable really needs to do a better job. That means that she's like head of security. She needs to do a much better job actually securing. She just pops her head around the corner and goes, nah, it's good. And she did it when we uh we got in the lift. She did it just now. Like, all she had to do was pop her head around the corner. She would have actually caught us. Speaking of catching us, that guy needs to stay looking the direction he is. As he's got us straight away. Those two seem like they're actually walking along together. If they actually keep that up, that's going to work out well for us. Go, go, go. Wow, okay. Yeah. Good good job patrolling, guys. You two just stay together. 
Now, when you're doing this, you can go through the house, but there's a lot of security in the house. So when I tend to do this, I actually tend to just go out through the balcony, go out this way. And you can actually just bypass pretty much all of Sable's men in one foul swoop. There's a lot of people you have to dodge on the inside of the house. But this way, you can get past pretty much everyone straight away. Except for this guy. This guy's got a, uh, just a taste of, a uh, wants a taste of my taser by the looks of things. Sleep it off, you big doofus. Go, 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 go! I need to clear that balcony. You're amazing. <laughs> it's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. If you like this video and want to see more going forwards, please consider pressing the like button. It really helps the channel to grow. If you're new here, definitely subscribe and always push that notification bell to be notified of all future videos going forward.